at some point I did a 10 day course. Um, it was a 10 day meditation course, 10 days of not speaking, I might add. Um, you can imagine me, <laughs> 10 days not speaking, 10 hours of meditation a day. And at the end of every day, you got a story of the Guru Goenka. He would tell stories about the life of Buddha and the old India. And one of the stories always stuck with me. And it's a story about a mother in India with her three sons. And that mother was about to cook a meal and she found out she didn't have enough oil to cook that meal. So what do you do if you're a parent? You take one of your kids and you say, there's a marketplace, here's a vase, here's some money, please go get me some oil. So kid takes some money, takes a vase, he goes out to the market, he buys oil, comes back, but he trips. And he loses most of the oil and comes back to home to his mom and says, Oh, mama, mama, I fell and I lost a lot of my oil. This is the worst day ever. And so his mom's like, well, it's not that bad, but she didn't have enough oil for food. So time for sound number two. Here is the vase. Here's like the money. So the kid went out. He got the oil. He came back, but he tripped as well. And he comes back home to his mother and says, Mom, this is the coolest day ever. I fell. I saved some of the oil. The oil thing is in one piece. I'm in one piece. This is awesome. Well, his mom's like, well, it's not that cool. <laughs> um, and she still has a problem, not enough oil for a meal. So son number three, he goes out, buys oil, comes back, trips as well. I think there's a motor skill problem in the family, by the way, but that's a different discussion. He comes back to, him, to his mom and he says, well, mom, um, I fell. Um, I lost some of the oil. I still have some of the oil. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the marketplace and I will work for this merchant for an hour and make enough money to buy new oil. And that's like three ways to look at life. The first one is a pessimist. Whatever happens, oh no, it's terrible. You know, are you gifted? Ah, oh, poor, sorry for you, man. <laughs> the second is the optimist. Everything is cool, everything is awesome. You're gifted, great. But I like the third one the best. It's not about it's awesome, it's not about it's awful. It is what it is, but the question is, what am I gonna do to make things better? What am I gonna do to improve things with the facts that are there? And that's, what I tend, that's the way I tend to look at the world. Accept reality as it is and wonder, what can I do to make things better? And if I could give parents and teachers and counselors only one question to use in life, the question would be, what are you going to do to make things better? And there's three important things in that. What are you? Because I'm a firm believer that the kid should remain responsible for his or her own problems. However much you want to, you cannot learn for your kid. He has to learn himself. So what are you going to do? So not talk about, not whine about, not gripe about. <laughs> what are you going to do? And not to make it perfect, but to make it better than it is right now. And if I'm in a really kind mood, then I might add, what are you going to do to make things better? What can I do to help you with that? But then it's kind of quite clear what the balance is. Your problem, you do stuff, making it better, and I'm gonna help you to do that.